this thing. Good evening. The October 28th. Make microphone on there. 2019 meeting of the Prescott Valley Board of Adjustment is now called to order. Thank you, Member Johnson. Uh, my name is Linda Shimon. As the board chairperson, uh, I will open the meeting for the information of the public. The Board of Adjustment is an impartial body made up of residents of the town of Prescott Valley who volunteer their time and efforts and are guided by state and local rules and regulations. When you address the board, please state your name and address for the record. Only one person may speak at a time, and all remarks must be addressed to the board as a whole. I will now note, for the record, town employees who are present, Fernando Gonzalez, Code Enforcement Supervisor, Christy Jones, Administrative Support Person. I would ask Ms. Jones to call the roll, please. Chairperson Shimon? Here. Vice Chairperson Johnson? Here. Member Corgan? Here. Member Brower? Here. Member Van Boning? I will add uh, at this time to the record, since the full five member board is not present, uh, I advise the applicants uh, tonight's meeting pursuant to Article 13.29.060. You have the right to request that your item be deferred to a future meeting date when a full five member board is present. A board approval or denial requires a majority vote. The motion will not pass if there are less than a majority affirmative votes. Please make this request known before we hear your uh, application. I am asking now if there are any changes or modifications to the minutes of September 23rd, 2019. Hearing none offered, I will call for a motion to approve the minutes as submitted. So moved. May I have a second? I'll second. May we have a voice call vote? Chairperson Shimon. Uh, I yes approve. Vice Chairperson Johnson. Yes. Member Corrigan. Yes. Member Brower. Yes. Are there any announcements from the staff or fellow board members? Hearing none, I will read the first item on the agenda into the record. UP one nine zero zero three. Upon the application of Ramirio Cifuentes, owner, a request for a use permit per section 1306020A8B3 of the Town of Prescott Valley Zoning Ordinance in order to operate a home massage therapy business. The subject property is located at 4960 North Hobo Circle, Prescott Valley Unit 19, Lot 8075 APN number 103-37762. I would ask Mr. Gonzalez to make the staff presentation, please. If I may, can I confirm with the applicant that they want to move forward? Yes, please. Do you wish to move forward today? I see that it is affirmative. Yes, we concur. Uh, the subject property is located in the R1L residential single family zoning district. It is surrounded with conventionally built site family residential homes. The applicant is requesting a use permit to operate a massage therapy business from the residence. All business activities shall be conducted within the residence. Town code section 1306020B3 allows the use with, with the subject of an approved use permit. Facts state that Town Code Section 1306-020-B3 allows massage therapy businesses in the R1L district in conjunction with a use permit. Due to these facts, staff is recommending the approval of UP 19-003 with the following conditions. Following uses are conditionally approved as a home occupation provided the applicant meets all Town Code Section 1306-020-A8-A that the duration of the use permit be limited to two years subject to renewal at that time, and that the use permit 
is allowed to operate as long as the applicant is in good standing with all state and local licensing authorities. Thank you. Are there any questions of Mr. Gonzalez from the board? Yes, Madam Chair. Um, Hernandez, I was just looking over basically the article that you mentioned and everything seems to be in order, but there's a couple of questions that I'm concerned about is that um, number five clients per day, only five clients per day, and how is that going to be monitored? Is that through the residents going to monitor that, or how is that going to be? Yes, norm normally it is through the residents. They have hours of operations. Normally what happens is the neighborhood usually polices them, and we do periodically check it. Okay, my second question then is, now this is a full-blown business. They're going to be licensed. Licensed. State licensed and everything. Now, I know this is not maybe not your department, but I was just curious about the sales tax. How is the revenue sales tax, how is that taken care of? You know, that I really don't know, but I believe that service type businesses are tax exempt, but I'm not 100% sure. Usually it's when you sell something tangible that you, you're required to pay taxes, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so I know that's out of your realm of it. Yeah. But everything else looks appropriate according to the statutes, I mean, the ordinance. And so my the question about the policing of the area, and then there's another other item that um, I went and looked at the property and um, A4, no more than 25% of the buildings on the lot and no more than 200 square feet of a detached. Now, this is not detached, it's gonna be operating right in the home. That is correct. And what the square footage was, the applicant put down was 200 and some square feet of room. And that, to me, I hopefully is 25% or less. Of the residents. Of I the did residents. the calculation, yes. And okay. I, what I did is I went on GIS, Galpi County Assessor's Office, okay. and I verified the size. They, they go out and measure structures, and we verify that information through them. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. The applicant is also here if you have questions of them. Any other questions of Mr. Gonzalez? Mr. Corrigan is recognized. Board member Corrigan is recognized. Mr. Gonzalez, yes. I visited the premises and I don't have any problems with the application except that it seemed like there might not be enough parking. Um, there were two places to park. There was the private driveway where I assume the residence park, and there was another driveway on Hobo Circle, which looked like maybe it could handle two cars. Mm -hmm. uh, are, are you comfortable with the parking situation as it exists? Because um, when I went by, there was a car parked in the zone that's supposed to be for parking, and I'm just wondering if there's enough parking. Well, normally for this type of business, it's usually you don't have people waiting. It's by appointment only, but I'm sure the applicant can can answer that better than I can. But it's my understanding that's usually by appointment. You usually have one person there, and the code only requires one parking space for this use. Okay, that's that answers my question. Thank you. The applicant is, is now given an opportunity to address the board. Would you like to address the board? First of all, I wanna thank you for taking the time to, uh, to address our application. Thank you. And uh, if there's any questions that you have, or I could just tell you about ourselves. Uh, I have no questions. Have other board members questions of the applicant? No, fine. No, sir, thank you. We, we appreciate the opportunity to meet you. We are going to call to see if there is anyone uh, in the, from the public who would like to address this matter. Hearing or seeing no one, the item will come back to the board for closing discussion. Uh, fellow board members, have we anything to discuss? Madam Chairperson, I would just note, like to note for the record that the application seems to be in order. 
it seems to be um, consistent with what the ordinances allow and we do have the recommendation of Mr. Gonzalez and based on all of that well, I'll, I'll wait until there's a, see if there's anybody else to discuss it. Would anyone else care to comment on the application? No. We will entertain a motion. And it I will make a motion that, based on what I said before, that the matter be um, the matter be approved, consistent or subject to the following conditions: one, that the following use is conditionally permitted as a home occupation provided that the applicant meets the provisions of the t town code section 13-06-020.A.8.1 small a. Two, that the duration of the use permit be limited to two years and subject to renewal at that time. Three, that the use permit is allowed to operate as long as the applicant is in good standing with all state and local licensing activities, and four, in the event the property is transferred to another, that it will be subject to a review at that time. I will second that motion and call for a voice vote. Chairperson Schimann? Uh, yes, I, I recommend approval. Vice Chairperson Johnson? Yes. Member Corrigan? Yes. Member Brower? Yes. I will go to the second item on the agenda, UP19004. Upon the application of Laura Markey, owner, a request for a use permit per section 1311020C1F of the Town of Prescott Valley Zoning Ordinance in order to operate a physical therapy business. The subject property is located at 7515 East Longlook Drive, Prescott Valley, APN 103027307030E. May we have, please, the staff presentation from Mr. Gonzalez? May, may I confirm that the applicant would like to move forward today? See, so we only have the five or four. Yes. We confirm that we are moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. The subject property is located in the RS zoning district with residential services. Um, the site is surrounded with conventionally built single family residential and service oriented businesses. This was actually developed as a church, even though it's in the RS zoning district, which allows this type of use. If you happen to see that actually most of that is either schools or churches along the roadway where this is located. The applicant is requesting a use permit to operate the physical therapy business at the RS district. All business activities shall be conducted within the structure. Town code section 1311020C1 allows the use with an approved use permit. Town section 1311020C1 allows professional services such as this, businesses in the RS zoning district in conjunction with the use permit. I also, to note that professional businesses is not really just the physical therapy. There could be clinics there, doctor's office, things of that nature, all in the same boat. Um, due to the facts stated, staff is recommending approval of UP19-004 with the following conditions. One of the conditions is actually gonna be changing due to the nature of the service that the use be permitted to operate and required to be renewed at the time of change of ownership of the business, and that the use, the use permit is allowed to operate as long as the applicant is in good standing with all state and local licenses and permit authorities. I'd be happy to answer any questions you would have at this time. Would you uh, agree it, you are under staff recommendations that the duration of the use permit be limited to two years is no longer applicable. That is correct. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And can I just shorten it to use what we've used in other ones? The use permit shall be valid until such time as the property is sold or the business changes hands. Yes. Great. Thank you. 
Have any other board members questions for Mr. Gonzalez? Yes, I have a couple of questions. Um, I went and visited the property and basically I think it's an ideal place for what they want to do with the PT that is very, very acceptable to the traffic, to the parking, to the handicap. The only one thing that I'm maybe concerned about is the fact that ADA requirements, since it changed ownership, are there gonna be any uh, current ADA requirements or upgraded ADA requirements? Well, as soon as they get a business license application approved, a inspector will, a building inspector will go out and review the building for the, any updates required to the ADA, any of the parking requirements, so that all be inspected prior to issuing a business license. Okay, I noticed that there was a code violation on the door when I went there today, and it was for weeds. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, we, we talked about different properties and the landscaping, mm -hmm. and I noticed in the, the uh, applicant's uh, narr narrative about uh, things about the landscaping out in front, is that all complying with the current ordinances of the business at this time? The, la the landscaping is in compliance at this time with town code, but as you mentioned, there may be weeds on the property. Yeah, I understand yeah. that part. Take care. But the landscaping was addressed here briefly in the applicant's narrative. Oh, okay. Yes, so. it, yes it is. There are only a requirement of a 10-foot buffer in the front yard. In, in regards to anything abutting the street and it meets the standard. Well, that's what I'm, I was looking at and I didn't think that was there. Oh. The 10 foot rule that we were talking about because in a previous owner, like we talked about it in previous um, rezoning and variances, that the previous owner had to abide by what was at that date. But the new owner has to come in. Do they comply with that 10 foot rule? Yes, they will because at the time of inspection we'll be checking that as well. Okay, yes. thank, you. thank you. Any other board members who would speak with Mr. Gonzalez? Madam Chairman. Yes, Mr. Johnson. I just think that um, it's a good use for the building and, and uh, we'd like to see the buildings not vacant. That's one good thing and, and uh, I'm sure they can use the extra space. They were in a very small space on Florentina and outgrew it, which is great. So. Right. I have a little more business that way. Any other comments or questions from the board? We would offer the uh, applicant the opportunity to address the board. Hello, my name is Laura Markey. Um, I'm the owner of the Center for Physical Excellence and again, I wanna thank you all for your time tonight and your consideration for us moving into this building. Um, it's a, the perfect spot, as uh, Mr. Johnson said, um, and it's got room for us to grow to help people in the community, whether they're youngsters, um, workers, the elderly, to try to be healthy and safe in the community, and we wanna grow old with the community as well, and it, it just gives us a place to grow into, so um, I really appreciate um, your consideration. Thank you. I have a question, if, Madam Chair. As a, are you a licensed PT yourself? Yes, I am. You are. Now, I've been to PTs many times in my sporting career, and <laughs> I understand <laughs> things have changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. The only concern that I have and would be concern of the city is that in your treatment, there are there any ointments or salves or anything like that that would per, require a hazard disposal? No. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions from the board? Thank you, I will open the item to comment from the public. Hearing none, the item is brought back to the board for closing discussion. I, I agree, I think the building is the perfect use uh, for the site, yeah. and I welcome any discussion or comments from fellow board members. I just wanna note for the record, that the recommendation of our zoning officer is to approve this application, and he gave various reasons for that approval. Uh, thank you. I would call for a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the application based on the fact, or can, 
I'm sorry. I, I move that the application be approved um, on the condition, first of all, that the use permit is allowed to operate as long as the applicant is in good standing with all state and local licensing and permitting requirements. And secondly, that upon change of ownership, the uh, use permit would have to be reviewed by the zoning office. I'll second it. May we have a voice vote, please? Chairperson Schimmett? Yes. Vice Chairperson Johnson? Yes. Member Corrigan? Yes. Member Brower? Yes. UP19004 is approved by the Board of Adjustment. Can I say yes? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Since all of our agenda items have been presented, I would open the meeting for public comment. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to address the board at this time? All right then, the board chairman will close uh, the meeting. There's being no further business. I'll accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Voice vote, please. Chairperson Schimann? Y yes. Vice adjourn. Chairperson Johnson? Yes. Member Corrigan? Yes. Member Van Bonin? Yes. Or, or Member Brower, I'm sorry. <laughs> the meeting is adjourned. <laughs>